Brown Thomas. This is so huge. Here's the courthouse where the Dred Scott case took from Michigan to Missouri. What are you doing here? I am here because I love Missouri. Why do you love Missouri so much? Well, I have so many friends here, for one, that I met during the Austin Peterson for U.S. Senate campaign. A and shameless I, plug. <laughs> I love that, the people here. Yeah, well, you came in from uh, Michigan yesterday. You've already seen the St. Louis Arch and a few yes. other things, and you've had some food. So you've had a good experience so far. Yeah, I went to the St. Louis Zoo, actually. Mm -hmm. It's and very nice. Excellent, excellent. It's free. The St. Louis Zoo is free. It's, there's no such thing as a free lunch. Step, That's what baby. I was Haven't saying. Haven't you learned that? You know, taxation and all. Yeah, us Missouri taxpayers paid for that for you, Steffi, so I hope you enjoyed it. I really did. Excellent. It's 838 on News Radio KWOS. I'm here with John Marsh and Brad Beckman, and we are joined by Stephanie Cole. Stephanie, um, I was reading this news story last night, sitting on my front porch, cuddling with the pooch about how you can't buy me love because millennials have a lot to complain about when it comes to their financial circumstances. John, crushing student loan debt, the rising cost of living, and the lack of well-paying jobs have made millennials into the most broke generation in contemporary history. At least that's what new research shows, that almost a third of millennials, they think dating is too expensive. That reveals why Generation Me isn't just short on money, but commitment. John, that explains why I'm single. There it is. There's your perfect excuse. It's a darn student loan. Because I'm young and I'm poor and I'm broke. Stephanie, tell me a little bit about the financial circumstances. You're a millennial here. It is getting tougher to be able to afford to buy a home. A lot of people have student loan debt. I know you avoided that trap. Mm -hmm. uh, but tell me a little bit about uh, the uh, financial circumstances that millennials have found themselves in. So there's about $1.5 trillion of student loan debt in the United States. Mm -hmm. That is crazy. And about half of our young millennials have nothing saved at all in their bank accounts. No savings whatsoever. No. Right. No. Young people have got it pretty hard when you think about trying to, to start a life and a career. Uh, a lot of young people are living at home with their parents. Like me. <laughs> but you chose to. That's by choice. Yeah, and, absolutely. Yeah, but, um, you know, it, it can be tough to when you're... When you, you're getting in the job market right now, John, we were talking the other day about how baby boomers just aren't retiring anymore. You guys are living a lot longer. There you go. Well, well it's because a lot of people, we heard from some of the experts, said because of people's retirement savings, thanks to, in no small part, the 2008 drop in the economy, that a lot of people are staying in the workplace. And there's a lot of people out there with work ethic who just genuinely enjoy staying in the Workplace. It's 839 on News Radio KWOS. Yes, yeah, Steffi, one of the reasons why I got involved in politics was back in 2007, not just because I was inspired by Dr. Ron Paul, but because of the things he was saying about the economy and how the uh, stock market was in a bubble and how we were going to face um, an imminent financial collapse, and then it happened. Do you think a lot of young people feel insecure about their futures? Uh, very much so. In fact, 80% of millennial wor workers are worried that Social Security will not be there for them. Are, I'm and worried I'm about that. I'm one of those that is very worried about that. That's why I'm saving so much for retirement right now. It's 840 on News Radio KWOS. I'm speaking with Stephanie Cole. She's a writer and an activist. Stephanie, you've been uh, hosting a show every Sunday on the Libertarian Republic. Like It's called Sundays with Steffi. And you do things like baking cookies. You made some of Ron Paul's Ooh, famous wow. cookies. Yes. And what are some of the other things that you've been talking about on your show? I do shooting videos. I sing. <laughs> I do book reviews, movie reviews, and most recently, I've started having guests of my own on my show. Just uh, yeah, liberty-oriented guests. Yeah, you had an interview with our friend Caleb Shoemate the other yeah. day. Yeah, how did that go? 
It went awesome. We were talking about the Pledge of Allegiance, actually, and the socialist history of that. Yeah, we discussed that on my show last week. A lot of people don't know the history of the Pledge of Allegiance, especially Republicans and conservatives, because you know we see this as a uh, symbol of patriotism. And yes. yet, this was uh, something that was uh, written by a Christian socialist, Francis Bellamy, back in the uh, 19th century. And it was ironic because he was using it to sell more flags. So a socialist who engaged in capitalism. It was the, a marketing scheme. Don't that beat all? Yeah. And the original uh, Pledge of just didn't include the phrase under God, did it? That's correct, although Francis Bellamy was a very religious man. Yeah, he was very religious, but he believed in a strict separation of church and state. However, he argued that we needed uh, a strong government in order for Christian principles to be hmm. carried out. Wasn't that strange? It's kind of strange. Yeah, it smells fishy to me. Yeah, it does. Speaking of fishy, we're going to be going out and doing maybe a little bit of fishing, but we're going to, we're going to, you're going to get to I'm enjoy. I'm a vegetarian. Oh. I don't fish. Yeah, you're, she's totally vegetarian, <laughs> but we won't hold that against her. It's eight. I don't judge. It's 842 on news radio, KWOS. Stephanie, we've been friends for quite some time. The first time that we came across one another was when I came to your home state of Michigan. I gave a speech at Hillsdale yes. after my presidential campaign about why Donald Trump run. And you say that that kind of inspired you to get involved. It's going to change your life. Absolutely it did. I mean, that day, I say, marks the beginning of my liberty journey because after that, I joined the Freedom Ninja Army, which is a group <laughs> of liberty-loving individuals. They were so welcoming, so open. I got really involved with that. And then I heard about your U.S. Senate campaign, and I couldn't help but to support you and be an activist online, especially Twitter for that. And I, I like to, to think that you're basically Missouri's number one fan right now. <laughs> Absolutely. I call this my second home. I mean, I was in Missouri last year three times for your Senate campaign yeah. just to support you and help out. Other uh, yeah, other than the other than the U.S. Senate campaign, there's a lot of other beautiful things about Missouri that you enjoy too, isn't there? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I love the landscape. I, I want to see more, and I'm going to see more in the south of Missouri this weekend. It's 8.43 on News Radio KWOS. I'm speaking with writer and activist Stephanie Cole. Stephanie, um, the liberty movement is in a bit of a uh, downslope right now. Uh, you're from the state that Congressman Justin Amash is yes. from, who recently quit the Republican Party, decided to become an independent. There's some rumors about him potentially running for president. You were telling me last night you think that that's probably not going to happen. You say he might run for Congress as an independent, though? Oh, he's absolutely running for Congress as an independent, yes. Won't that he's campaigning. Won't that just mean a Democrats are going to win, Stephanie? I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, Democrats like him. Oh, really? Yes. That's maybe not a good thing. We'll find out <laughs> about that. It's 844 on News Radio KWOS. So, Stephanie, this weekend we're going to go down to the Current River and we're going to spend some time out there in the great outdoors with a lot of Missouri libertarians. And uh, and uh, I, we really appreciate that you've come all the way from Michigan just to spend some time here with us. And we really appreciate you coming on the show this morning. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you so much. Stephanie Cole, check her out. Sundays with Steffi only on the Libertarian Republic. Com. You can check it out. What's your uh, upcoming video this weekend, Stephanie? What are you going to do with this Sunday with Stephanie? I'm making a very special pizza. What is what is this pizza? Uh, pineapple pizza. That's it. Your band go back to Michigan. Uh, we'll be back on News Radio KWOS 9:50 a.m. and 104.5 FM. My Missouri trip has come to an end. Say hello. Why? <laughs> this is my friend Skylar. I'm going to miss this very much. It is beautiful. <laughs> 